I don't do a lot of motion tutorials because most of my projects are just way too complicated to really do a good job of explaining. But I came across a problem somebody was having with uh, publishing, uh, I guess, basically tracking points for a shape so that they could manipulate the shape in Final Cut Pro 10. And so I know how to do that, and it's not that complicated. So I'm just going to start with a generator here because that's one of the simplest kinds of projects. Let's just do a triangle. Okay, so I have a shape. And now I'm going to um, go to shape. In the behaviors, I'm going to go to shape, track points. Okay, I want to create a new group. So Command Shift G. And I want that group to be separate from this group, so I need to arrange it. Track points won't work with other shapes. It has to be an image. So I'm going to go into the content, and I'm going to just cruise on down here and find the smallest crosshair. And I'm just going to apply it to my group. I'm going to set it up near the top of my triangle here, and then I'll duplicate it, drag this one down here, and duplicate it, drag this one over here. So now I have three crosshairs that I can link to the points for the tracks. And since I have three points and I want to track them separately, I'm going to need three track points. So I'm going to duplicate that and then duplicate that. So come back over here to the inspector, behaviors. And let's uh, rename these so I know which one I'm doing. Let's do the top. And do this one as right bottom and this one will be the left bottom and let's keep things consistent and this crosshair will be well, let's just keep them matched up this one will be the top it is bottom right and bottom left, or left, bottom. Okay. Let's move this back over here at the top. I'm going to drag the top image, crosshair image, into the source well here. I'm going to drag the right bottom into this source well here and the left bottom into this source well here. And let's just go back to the top. I'm going to attach to source. I'm only going to be tracking one point so I'm going to turn off these other two. Spin down this disclosure triangle. I'm going to reset these positions to zero and zero. Let's just finish these up. Right bottom is going to be track number two. Attach the source. Track number two, zero this up. And 
left bottom, the track number three. And we'll zero that up. Okay, what else do we have to do? Um, Uh, let's go to the properties. We'll publish this position. Just the X and the Y. Actually, it doesn't matter. We need to go to the top and publish. Go to the project. And we're going to unpublish the Z. I'm going to rename them as top X and top Y. I'm going to go to the right bottom and we're going to publish this position. Go to the project, undo Z, and rename. Then we'll go to the left, publish its position. And publish the C and rename. You'll probably come up with better names than this, depends on your shape. Save this. Um, three point shape. And let's just do this while I'm testing. Actually, let's do a new category. Just testing. Don't need to. Uh, Include that, and I don't need a preview movie, so let's publish that. Go into Final Cut, and this is a generator. Let's go into Testing, and we can just drag this in here. And there you go. Now let's go back into motion. We're going to go into the properties for this image. We're going to set the opacity to zero. Because generally you don't want the crosshairs to show. Save it. Go back into Final Cut. Drag a new copy onto the old copy. Release, and you get this pop-up menu and hit Replace. And now there are no crosshairs. And let's line this up. We want zero. Mm. Um, X at minus 250. Actually, that's the right. And we are minus 500. Okay, we have a dead point. We have several. Wait, we've got control of this one. Okay, we've lost control of the left. So let's go back into motion, find out what's going on. 
left bottom. Left bar oh, mimic. Set to attach to source. Make sure this is zeroed out. Save it. Go back into Final Cut. Put in a new copy. Replace. And select the clip. And we have left. We have right. Top. That's how you publish track points for a shape for Final Cut, but apparently you can't keyframe these, which is the same problem I found when I did the mass shape, that it could not be keyframed, but that's good to know actually. If I figure out how to do that, I'll put out another tutorial. Uh, thanks for listening. I hope this helps.